Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I am back in World of Flowers and I'm going to continue on these little shelves and I'm going to do the little shelf that's below the uh, watering can. So I hope you're all ready to colour along. I'll be using my polychromos as usual and my Sakura Jelly Roll as well. So let's get started. So for the background I've decided to go in with the grey, so I'll be doing similar to what I did with the watering can above. So this is one of the things that I mentioned um, in my last video that I like to try and tie things together a little bit so that um, it's a nice sort of flowing theme uh, throughout the, um, the picture. So I'll go in with my warm greys and I'll also be adding in, just like I did on the watering can, um, some of the colours from maybe like the pots and the um, flowers as well, just to the background, the grey background, to have a bit of a play on colour. As I'll just be covering the background in this one colour to start with, I will speed this up a little bit to hurry things along. It will be easy enough to follow along anyway, so I'll just speed it up to double speed and if you need to you can always slow it down on your YouTube settings. So I'm going to go in with my warm grey 4 and I'm just going to start mapping out where I want my shadows to be.
now that I've outlined all my shading I'm gonna start adding in a little bit of earth green yellowish I'll probably also add in some um, beige red possibly the Naples yellow and I'm thinking also one of the lighter blues I don't know if we're doing light ultramarine or sky blue yet we'll figure it out as, as I go Now, if you're enjoying this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel uh, push out the videos to more viewers that might not have seen it before. So I really, really appreciate all your support. And if you'd like to see more, just make sure that you sub subscribe and click the uh, little notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. I do try to have new videos, new content up every four days. I decided to go with sky blue here I thought maybe the light ultramarine would be a little bit too dark so I'm just going in very lightly with my sky blue um, as I want this particular vase here to be your flower pot not vase a flower pot to be a nice bright blue so we're gonna obviously have then have some blue shining off that onto our gray background So I'm just going to go in now with my warm grey 5 and add a bit more darker shadows around. I won't speed this one up um, just because it's a little bit more fiddly and I don't want you to miss sort of pieces where I'm adding in small shadows or underneath leaves and, and things. So I'm just going in here now and just darkening things up a little bit more just to create a little bit more depth to the picture.
So I'm going to go in with my chrome oxide green, my permanent green olive and I think my earth green yellowish on this pot which is that color combination that I've been using for most of the greens so far on this page. Now I am thinking of doing all the pots in different colors but I want one sort of element to tie them all together so I'm thinking of making like the trimmings in like a gold so that way I can do this little band around it which is almost look like it's like a braid or a plaid sort of thing uh, not, not a plaid I'm not talking about Scottish kilts here but <laughs> so but a braid or a plait that's that's the word I think I was looking for so I'm going to do that one in a gold I think and then same on the pot next to it I'll do that little band around it in gold on the tall pot I will do those little, uh, I think I'll do the, um, the little bottom part in gold as well as those little, those little sort of circles, semicircles up the top, not semicircles, oh goodness me, ovals, I cannot speak today. And then same with the last pot, I'll do the little squares that are on there in gold as well. So I'm hoping that will tie it all together and make it look really nice and sort of uniform without it being completely identical.
things that I've noticed with my camera is that I think it's letting in a little bit too much light. I have tried to play with the settings a little bit, but you might want to go in just a little bit darker than what it looks like I'm doing. At least just on the sort of shaded areas, just try to go in fairly dark without completely pushing down the all of the tooth. So for my gold area, I'm going to go in with my light yellow ochre, but I'm going to make sure that I leave a little bit of white area, sort of just where I want my highlights to be. So just pay attention to where I'm putting that. It's sort of in the center of each of those little plaits. And um, then I'm going to go darker on the each side and sort of a little bit underneath and where in that down that center across that center line as well. Just of these leaves on this plant here doesn't completely match the the pot I'm gonna go in with slightly bluer tones of green so I'm gonna start out with my pine green and map out my shadows then I'm gonna use my juniper green to blend it out a little bit and then I'll use my earth green and this is the earth green not the earth green yellowish to then blend out the lighter areas where the highlights are gonna be
So here are the colours I'm going to be using for my two flowers in this green pot. So I'm going to go the coral, burnt carmine and red violet. I'll be also using my Sakura Jelly Roll um, on the outline of this just to soften off up the flowers and things a little bit again.
this pot number two I'm gonna go in with my India red Venetian red and cinnamon and as I mentioned before um, in some of the other videos cinnamon I think is the one that used to be called I think it was dark flash tone so just look at the number if you have the older set of polychromas as they did change the names of some of the pencils however the numbers stayed the same Thank you. 
So as I mentioned, for that little band that goes around it, I'll be doing the same gold. I'm using the exact same colours that I used on the previous pot. I just want to go in and darken up the shaded areas just a little bit more so as I mentioned before I just feel like my camera isn't picking up the darker tones too well so you can probably afford to go in a little bit darker than what you think I'm doing here just to match it up 
I find a good representation is actually the picture at the end. You might find that that looks a little bit darker in certain points. <laughs> So for this tall pot, I want to go with a really nice, vibrant blue. So I'm going to start out with my, not my completely darkest blue, but I'm going in with the indanthrene blue and just mapping out a little bit where I want the darker areas to be. I'm probably going to go in fairly dark on the whole pot, but you will still see a difference between my really sort of shaded areas and the slightly highlighted areas. So my light ultramarine is going to be my lightest area here and then I'm going to go in and darken up um, the shaded areas even more.
Now because this pot is so nice and blue, I want to bring some of that blue tone into the foliage. So this little dark cobalt green will be, or deep cobalt green, not dark, is really perfect for, uh, for this. It's just got a little bit of blue, a little bit of extra blue in it compared to just the regular sort of middle greens or the yellowy greens. So I think it works out really, really well with the blue pot. Because the deep cobalt green is relatively dark, I'm actually going to go in with my black straight away and use this for my shaded areas. I don't always go straight in with black, but I think it will work out really well with these. I'm going to get a really nice contrast. my deep cobalt green and just blend this black out a little bit more and it should make a nice transition and just sort of smush it out just that little bit it's not compared to the prismas these aren't as easy to sort of smush out but you do definitely get a still get a bit of a gradient happening there bring in some violet and maybe some sort of pinky purpley tones to this this picture I haven't used a whole lot of that so far on this page so I thought these flowers would be perfect to bring them in because we have all this blue that sort of blueing up the <laughs> the pink tones and the red tones that we had making this violet quite perfect
I'm going to use my light magenta for the lighter highlighted areas. I'm really sorry, I've actually never had the number on these. They were rubbed off when I got the pack. So if anyone knows the number of the light magenta, please let me know and I can add it in to uh, to my next my next video, whatever I use it next. So I'm going to be using the mauve for my darker shadows here. It will tie in really nice with the violet. So I'm going back in with my jelly roll. I'm just going to be focusing on more of the highlighted areas where there's going to be a bit lighter and as I've been doing with the other ones I'll leave the shaded areas um, alone. I'll leave those. I won't be doing any extra <laughs> white on that. So for example on the pot I will probably just be doing the top left hand side I think and I might add in a little couple of little dots on those little gold spots that go around around the pot as well Okay, I'm going to bring in another colour now, so I'm going to do the red violet. So we have the violet in the flowers that we just did and now I'm sort of mixing that with some of the red tones that we've already used. So I'll be using this one here for the um, right hand side pot and for those little squares that are a little bit further up, um, that sort of works as a bit of a band around the pot I will be using my gold colors again
So I've decided I'm going to go in with my burnt carmine as my mid-tone here and I think I'll bring in the coral for, uh, for the highlighted areas.
so I'm going to go back to my kind of standard color combination for my leaves we're starting out with my chrome oxide green and doing all of the bases of these leaves so I'm going to fade it out um, to the highlighted areas at the tips and then I'll be going in with my um, jelly roll after that and add in some white details. So I've added in my dark areas, I'm now going to go in with my permanent green olive just to blend that out a little bit and then I'm going to bring in my earth green yellowish for the tips. So as you can see I'm actually going in here and I'm adding a little bit more of this green to the wall just behind it and um, whether it's I don't know maybe it's just some leaves sitting in the back there or it's just shining onto the wall I don't know I just felt like it needed a little bit more green just up the top there just to surround those flowers a little bit more so I'm just going to go in and darken up these dark areas a little bit more and then I'll go in and do the flowers before I go in and put in my white details with the uh, Sakura Jelly Roll.
I'm just going to go in with a little bit of pine green just because it's a little bit darker and just darken up a few more areas in here just to get that little bit of contrast and then I think we're pretty much done with this pot I think we're starting to get almost towards the end of the picture too so I'm starting to get quite happy but I think we need to add in some more shadows and just make sure we're all happy with the end result before I'm gonna say that we're all done
All right, I think I'm starting to be happy with how this background is looking. I'm going to go in now just with my jelly roll again and just touch up a couple of areas that I feel needs a little bit more white and a couple of areas that I forgot as well. So I've completely forgot this left side on this pot and I'm going to go in and remove some of the lines um, on this gold area just so we have a little bit more highlight to, um, to work with here. just about done now so I'm going to attach now a photo of the finished product so I want you to just have a look and to see the difference in the shading when I put in the photo which will come up right about now so as you can see here it's taken with the exact same camera but you will see that the um, shaded areas are much darker and that's more of a, a true represent representation of what this shelf actually looks like so i hope you enjoy this color along i thank you so much for being here i really appreciate your support have a colorful day and i will see you again next time <music>